Now your Super Doppler 10 forecast with meteorologist Jeremy Wheeler. All right, I want to start off with the tropics, and this is Matthew. Uh, right now, it's over in the eastern Caribbean. It's far from here, but you know, it might get a little close to the United States next few days. Uh, here's the Lesser Antilles. It's bypassed that area, and then now it is south of Puerto Rico. So, here's the latest information. Winds of 65 miles an hour, moving west at 16 miles an hour. This is going to be moving west for the next couple of days, probably strengthened to a hurricane. And then around Sunday, it's supposed to take a, a pretty sharp north turn, and that does happen sometimes. It's pretty rare. Uh, we'll see if it actually makes it almost a 90 degree angle. But either way, towards early next week, it's going to run either towards Jamaica, uh, western Haiti, or Cuba, most likely eastern Cuba as a Category 1 hurricane. Now, it'll cross land and most likely weaken a little bit, but it may make it out the other side intact and move towards the Bahamas. Once it does that, it's expected to move northward, at least generally. And the latest computer models. Again, have it crossing Cuba. Some of them take it into the Bahamas, and a couple of them do take it pretty close to the coast of the United States. So, again, it bears watching next few days. This will be in the Wednesday morning at the latest. And so, at this point, so we're going to watch it, and we'll have plenty of updates on this next few days. So, plenty of time to watch for those updates. Now, here is what's going on close to home. We've got a stationary front that's been here for a couple of days. It's caused some of our problems. We have a cold front off to the west, an area low pressure. These two are kind of merging today together, and that is going to create a chance for rain once again. So we have uh, scattered showers out there, heavy in places. There's one heavy shower right over the town of Hertford in North Carolina, Perquimans County. That's working northward. And uh, we've got a couple more in there. Uh, there's one on the way to South Mills in the next half hour, a light one. But we have heavy rain in Chesapeake. This is just south of Grassfield, getting into Grassfield, and that's moving north. It's going to cross Interstate 64 and cause some problems in there, just west of Essex Meadows, into the South Norfolk area, and also into Portsmouth on the eastern edge. Downtown, going to see some uh, moderate showers. And some of that's getting into the uh, Norfolk area now, too, right over the Norfolk Naval Base. ODU seeing some of that rain, and it's moving north up to the peninsula, right around Fort Monroe. Now we have a few more showers. Mob Jack Bay in Matthews County, also very heavy here, just east of Amberg. That's moving off to the uh, north and east. Lighter rain down to Matthews and Beaverlet down to Mob Jack itself. Light rain on the northern neck and the eastern shore is quiet, but you've had some rain on and off around Chincoteague. So scattered showers continue this morning up through the midday hours, and we'll get some more scattered showers in here this afternoon. Our models backed off a little bit, but I'm still calling for at least a scattered showers and a few thunderstorms in through 3 and 5 o'clock. We keep going through time overnight. There'll be a few showers here. Here's 7 a.m. tomorrow morning, isolated showers. And then, uh, you know, th through the day tomorrow, I'm not expecting all that much rain. Still some scattered showers, but hopefully the rain chances decrease. But some of our uh, areas west and north of Hampton Roads, you could see some higher amounts of rain, some very heavy rain, and it could add up. That's why there's that flash flood watch in effect for the northern neck in Middlesex County. I think the amounts will add up here in Saluda. Uh, you can see kind of on the edge of that rain. So stay tuned for updates. Now, the rain chances do decrease each day going into Saturday. Sunday only a slight chance for a shower, and I'm hoping I could drop that chance on Saturday, but right now a 30% chance. Temperatures at the moment, they're in the upper 60s to around 70. we got lots of clouds and a few showers, and scattered showers continue today with an easterly wind at 10 miles an hour. Highs will be generally near 80 degrees for just about everybody. Seven-day forecast, highs in the 80s next few days, decreasing chances of rain into Saturday, only an isolated shower on Sunday, and then drying out Sunday afternoon, Monday and Tuesday.